Hello, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you on this uh, weekday morning. I just forgot what day of the week it was. I believe, I believe it is Tuesday morning. Uh, well, let me see. That's bad. <laughs> that is terrible. But, anyways, I hope you're having a wonderful start to your week even though it has already began it is dreary and cold here i tell you spring just uh it's just wanting to hang on to winter a little bit longer i guess but we're starting to see some cherry blossoms pop out and that's so beautiful uh, my mother had about four or five maybe six huge cherry blossom trees on her place that she sold two two years ago and those were the most beautiful trees you know, and I've said it before, when you see things like that, you know, you just know God made those because it's just so beautiful. And I spoke about the sunset that I've seen in Ibiza, Spain and Santorini, Greece, the two most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen in my life. And, you know, just makes you thankful. Um, I want to talk about being... Well, I'm just going to come out and say it. Being a phony, being a fake Christian. We have so many of them today. Uh, it seems like people, especially in politics, we have a lot of politicians that love touting how they're going to pray for somebody and their belief in God. And yet the other 99 point whatever percent of the time they're in front of the camera, they're spewing hatred towards the other side of the aisle or hatred towards, you know, then President Donald Trump. They still hate that man, even though he's not in office. Uh, there's, there's, there's a few prevalent names, and I'm not going to call them out. You probably know who I'm talking about. There's a few that love getting up in front of the camera and saying they're going to pray for somebody, and yet they do not bear good fruit in any shape form or manner jesus tells us what come forth what comes forth from the mouth is what's in your heart and if you're spewing hatred and and you know uh vendettas and all of that kind of thing that's not what a christian should do at all but we see this today we see people that jump up on the christian soapbox uh you know and and when it fits their needs, when it when it fits their narrative, they're a Christian. They're a believer in God. That you know they they pray. Now I'm not here to point fingers in a way. Maybe it might seem that way, but unfortunately we have way too many people today in the United States that that claim Christianity and yet they live their lives the absolute opposite. Okay, you know Christ again. Jesus tells, see, this is what's wonderful about Jesus. He tells us all of this stuff in the Bible. It's all right there. If you open it up and read it, it's all right there in front of you. Jesus tells us that, you know, yeah, we have to live in this world as believers, as Christians, but we don't have to be of the world. And yet I see that more than anything. You know, God says, uh, you know, if you're lukewarm, he's going to spew you forth from his mouth. What, what does that mean, lukewarm? being a lukewarm follower, believer, Christian, whatever term you want to use. That means somebody that's not all in for God. That means somebody, as we used to say, straddles the fence. They straddle the fence. They still have one foot in the world and one foot in church. One foot in the world and one foot in the church. That, to me, is a good example of being lukewarm and we know i just said we know the bible says god says he'll spew you forth from his mouth we have so many lukewarm christians today and i truly honestly folks i'm telling you right now i believe in all of my heart my mind my body my soul my spirit whatever you want to call it I believe the reason we are seeing the things we are seeing today is because the Christians in this country are too lukewarm. They have not stood on a solid foundation, as Christ says. We have, we're not standing on that solid rock. 
We're standing in quicksand and we're sinking. Don't be a lukewarm Christian. Don't be a Christian one day and then be in the world the next. I, I'm going to talk to you about something. Um, I came out of a long relationship and uh, the thing was I had given enough time to, you know, have my heart mended. I had a broken heart over it. You know, I loved this girl dearly. I was engaged to be married to her. And uh, the thing is, is it took me a while to, you know, get back on my feet, so to say. And, and um, when I got sick with the COVID and all of that, and I was in the hospital and, and all that, and, you know, God gave me a second chance at life, I knew that it was time for me to, to find a good Christian woman and, and, you know, make a life. And so I signed up to, and I, I've never did this, I signed up to a Christian dating site okay and there was a lot of good women on there i mean there really was but it seemed like every one of them it matched me with drank they all went to bars and, and drank and i could not wrap my head around how somebody can say they're a christian and yet go to a bar and get drunk i don't you know you might unsubscribe from me for saying that and if that's you do you do because I don't believe in that. I don't believe you should be living in the world and living for Christ at the same time. That is being lukewarm. That is straddling the fence. That is like Jesus says. You know, we, we have to live in the world, but we're not to be of it. And I'm telling you folks, every single one of the women that I ended up being somewhat interested in drank. And they all asked me the same thing. Oh, do you have a problem? You know, I go to the you know, bars with my girlfriends after work and this and that. Do you have a problem? And I was like, yeah, I do. Because I don't believe in, in drinking. You know, I, I just don't. And uh, so it didn't it didn't go nowhere. The, every one of them, you know, of course, you know, it died. It, it didn't go nowhere. Um, and that reminded me of this, of doing this video, because there's just too many today that are not, living the way they need to live. Now, I mean, you might be saying, David, who are you? Who are you to tell me that I can't this or I can't that and I'm not a Christian? Well, it's not me telling you, folks, okay, even though I'm actually speaking. It's not me telling you. It's the Word of God that's telling you, okay? You know, and Jesus says no, no, no effeminates, no, no drunkards, no, no gamblers, no thieves will make it into the kingdom of heaven. I mean, he says it plain as day and uh you know our, our bodies are to be a temple of the lord our bodies are to be you know a temple to christ we're, we're not to be putting substances that's not supposed to be in their mind altering drugs now i'm not talking about drugs that you have to take for your diabetes or for your hypertension or for whatever i'm don't misconstrue what I'm saying. I take medicine from the doctors. It is what it is. But I'm talking about recreational drink and drugs and stuff. And there's a lot of them I noticed that matched me that uh, they, that, I mean, this is supposed to be a Christian dating site. And they had, you know, a little wine glass, which, you know, they would put either often or sometimes, which means they drink. And they'd have, they had a marijuana leaf. And, it, and you would say sometimes, often, whatever. And I thought to myself, this is a Christian, you know, dating site and you got drinking drugs on here. That shouldn't even be part of it. And again, you might get mad at what I'm saying and you might unsubscribe from me. You know, I can't I can't do nothing about that. I would pray that you would feel the same. I'm not condemning people, folks. Don't think of that. I'm just telling you what the word of God says about you know, living one foot in the world and one foot in church. And when I mean church, I mean, you know, being a Christian, being a follower and a believer in, of Jesus Christ. You know, we cannot live this way, folks. We cannot be lukewarm. We cannot be uh, like so many in the public eye fake. And I can say that because it does truly tells us, Jesus tells us, you know, that, that we'll know them by the fruit that they bear. And if you're out there spewing, you know, hatred and just 
you know, aggravate it and all of that. You're not, you're not lining up with the word of God, folks. And I believe a lot of these people that come election time, they love touting their belief in God. They love touting that word, pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. You'll hear that a lot come closer to election time from these people that are up for re-election, especially. And, and it's not, it, it's just a ploy for them to, to, for people to say, oh yeah, they must be a Christian. So yeah, I, I'm going to vote for them. And, and, and it's, it's just another tool that they use to get elected. And it, it's sad. It really is. But um, yeah, just live your life for God. Okay. Don't be straddling the fence. Don't put one foot in the world and one foot in, in, in church. You know, go all out for God, folks, because I'm telling you right now, if you turn your life over to Christ, if you truly turn your life over to Christ, it'll be the best decision you've ever made in your entire life. Remember, it comes with eternity in heaven with our Lord Savior Jesus. It doesn't get any better than that. So that is an incentive right there to spend eternity in heaven. I mean, who wouldn't, you know? Well, surprisingly, there's a lot that uh, wouldn't, that don't believe. But anyways, that's all I got. You know, again, folks, I'm not trying to do these videos to be condescending or to point fingers. I'm just telling you what I see and what the Bible says and what I hear and what the Bible says. And you can take it from there the way you want to take it. I'm not trying to, to browbeat anybody. I, that's the last thing I'm trying to do. I, I promise you it's not. You know, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just laying it out, what I see and, and what God tells us or Jesus tells us we need to do as believers, as followers, as saved, born again Christians. That's all I got for you. God bless each and every one of you. Have a good rest of your week. Be safe. Pray for this nation. We absolutely need it. Pray for each other. God bless you. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.